Good afternoon and welcome to yet another fiery encounter awaiting in the Hero Indian Women's League. It is uh, the toppers of the class Gokulam Kerala who take on Mumbai Knights FC who seek promotion to the next round as well. It is a big clash and we're live from the Shahibagh Stadium Ahmedabad. And we'll have a look at the lineups straight away. Gokulam Kerala lined up with a 4-1-4-1, almost a similar looking team, Beatrice in goal and few big names, Indian internationals and of course uh, the big name of France, Sabitra Bhandari, a goal scoring machine for Gokulam Kerala in Dumati will be leading this side and Kashmina has got uh, a start here today and has things to prove as well. Uh, she has been on and off uh, with the first 11 but very well. A mixed squad and the substitute bench here for Kuklam Kerala. Tangmei, Chris, Saju and Reshma, all of them on the bench. And another player you would love to watch is Vivian Konadu. A player from Kana. She's on the bench as well. And Mumbai Knights FC with ups and downs in the performances. There's the lineup of 4 2 3 1. Ritu Rani leading the side. Ria Priyanka. Karen Pace and uh, Felony, all of them quite uh, players to watch out for. Pumika Mane on the left hand side will have to deliver today. And Karishma has to fire because it's now or never for the team from Mumbai. And the substitute bench for Mumbai Knights uh, looks quite impressive as well. Uh, Riyati Souza, Janavi Shetty, uh, Shashmita Chadav, uh, some firepower there along with Mahek Lobo. Head coach Rituja Rajan. She'll be knowing the importance of this match and the weightage of this encounter. They have a place in top four to grab. They are in fifth position right now in the league table. And this is the final match day of Group A. It's time we decide who all make it to the knockouts. The Goklam, of course, have sealed their spot. And hence, no questions about that. But they would like to carry forward their winning momentum. Mumbai Knights are coming from a loss in their previous game. And they'll have to turn things around. And this is one of the most tough fixtures uh, they'll face uh, this season. I'll tell you what, these are the matches which shows if you deserve to be there in the top eight. And they'll be trying to do so. Of course, the quarterfinals, I mean by top eight, four teams from each group. Pretty much set for the game here. A perfect setting afternoon a match. A match number 28 then. And every time we talk about a team from Kerala, uh, there's a hype to be the best and an urge to rise above the rest. And Gokulam sure have lived up to that so far. But it's not done yet. As they'll have to continue the winning momentum. Moving into the knockout stages. The officials for the game. With the whistle in her hand. Furki Lamuputia. Along with assistant referees. Akansha Soni Moni Kilari. And fourth official Monika Jana. And the officiating often talked about and uh, noticed uh, well by the fans uh, whenever decisions uh, go here and there but so far it has been a uh, good in the Indian Women's League and we'll expect the same throughout uh, and the two captains uh, Indumati and Ritu Rani uh, they know quite uh, a bit about uh, one another have been together in the Indian national team setup and know their game well. One a centre back, one a midfielder. Indomati quite capable of controlling the fall and causing trouble. And there's Ritu Rani, the other captain, who will have the duty to stop those attacks. Uh, this is the game where she has to rise to her best. Well, remember, uh, there's another match uh, which will be going on and uh, it'll all depend on the result of these two matches. 
There's three teams in battle who might just qualify. The head coach of uh, Coquelum and Tony Sampson Andrews. A confident looking man. And why not? Uh, his team is unbeaten so far in the six matches. Five wins, one draw. But that little draw will give some hope to Mumbai Knights. Uh, Take and maybe bring out a result from this. Felony Fernandez and Karen Pace, uh, the midfield duo. And there's the head coach of Mumbai Knights, Rutuja Rajan Kunwant. Her team has shown character and some quality football in phases. Well, the Mumbai Knights uh, have shown quality in glimpses and they'll be looking to put together their phases of brilliance in order to live in the competition after this do or die clash. It is of utmost importance for them. Uh, Kokulam will surely leave nothing behind and going out for the win. Underway then with match number 28. It's Kokulam Kerala in the regular strides from left to right of your screens. And Mumbai Knights in white and pink from right to left of your screens in the first half. The least we can expect is some good quality football and that is what Gokulam are known for and Mumbai Knights uh, have also been quite promising myself uh, Vashwar Kosha will be assisting you for the rest of the game uh, good to be back of course and uh, that forward pass uh, will be wasteful and you can see a number of such forward passes when Gokulam Kerala plays uh, and the reason is the number 9 Savitra Bhandari the amount of pace and acceleration she has, especially the acceleration, sudden burst of pace there. Couldn't get a touch to that though. Well, seems to be an offside. They have to be aware of uh, the early signs of danger, Mumbai Knights, uh, and if they can get over that phase. And they'll feel a bit more confident as the game progresses. Here's an early chance for them, the Mumbai Knights. And Beatrice was out of the lines quickly. Curran couldn't control. Well, have been witnessing a few games and uh, how brilliant uh, uh, that girl in the midfield, Karen Pace, has been with the distribution. Well, it's a mighty big task uh, for Mumbai Knights uh, because Kokulam are unbeaten after the su first six match days. And Mumbai Knights know uh, that they have to pull out an upset in this fixture because that is the only way they can edge past the other two teams who are also in contention for the top four. Well, we can very well say three teams because Hops FC and Sports Odisha, along with a slight hope for Misaka, all of them are very well in this till the last whistle of the day. Trying to play a wall pass there, Pumika Mane. Lost the ball, but still with Mumbai Knights. Uh, and that cross wouldn't help their cause. Indomiti. So confident uh, on the ball, Kokulam. Another forward pass. Uh, they have plenty of pace up front uh, from the left-hand side now. Roja Devi uh, looking for the perfect delivery. Far from perfect, that. Indomati takes it to a left. We'll see a good midfield battle. Some quality midfielders uh, 
on board today. And there we see the threat, Sabitra Vandari. That's good work by Ritu Rani. I didn't let her off. You cannot allow her free space. But so far, so good. Four minutes of the game. Too early to predict anything. And that'll go straight to Kashmira. And a goal for Mumbai Knights. Well, they have won three of their six matches. 50% win rate for Mumbai Knights. Uh, one draw and two losses. The only way uh, they can move to the top four is to finish on a high and finish with a win. And they've been that middle of the table team where their stats aren't too bad but uh, not too good either. Six goals scored in total. A goal per game. But they've conceded seven. Stolen Priyanka. Now to Karishma. She has controlled it well. But the attempt for the first time, Paul, it didn't work well. Another one on one between Ritu Rani and Sabitra Vandari. And that's a risky clearance. A bit awkward. Managed well. And a long range shot. Not collected well, but no attackers there to pounce on that sloppy goalkeeping piece from Kashmira. A lucky escape there. But sharp from Roja Devi to test the keeper early on. A good save though, but uh, could have done better. Indomati. Well, it seems like there's an issue. A player down there. Karishma Purushottam. She has very well been in the mix of things. So hopefully, all right. Just a knock. Kuklum's last match uh, was a 9 nil massive victory against uh, Mata Rukmani. And there's how she was caught in the challenge. Well, 9 goals and uh, it's almost uh, a regular routine for Kuklum now. They've scored 14 in a game, 8 in another. And they just love scoring goals. And it's not just one or two scorers, even though Sabitra Vandari has been scoring plenty. But everyone has been involved in this growth and success. Two times champion of the hero IWL, Gokulam Kerala. Sandhya. Savitra Pandari's run wasn't quite the perfect one, but that's a dangerous cross. Job half done, still in the danger zone, and finally cleared away. Kashmina and down to Ranjana Chanu, and given away. Castana looking for the overlapping run of uh, Kritina Devi and gets it back as well. Chipped forward, Sabitra Bandari is anyway interested. And good defending so far from Mumbai Knights. Uh, both the centre backs, Ritu Rani and Afreen. Sandhya finds Kashmina. Kukulam trying to get things under control. Savitra Vandari looking for the innovative cross 
just made the f missed the flight slightly. Asim Roja Devi. She's the one who tested the keeper with a first time shot a while ago. Well, it seems like it's been given as an offside, so anyway, it wouldn't have counted. And the back line has a uh, work to do. Mumbai Knights uh, have done their homework, it seems. Launched forward. Quite wasteful. Well, Indumati had got two goals in the previous game against Mata Rukmani. She'll be fancying a few whenever she gets the chance. Ranjana Chanu will give away there. And there's where the first touches uh, need to be a little better from Mumbai Knights. Uh, another ambitious uh, cross, uh, well dealt with. A first time effort and through the keeper. And opens uh, the scoring for Gokulam Kerala. And it's Indumati, the captain, who gives them the lead. And just when we discussed about her scoring two goals in the previous game, she's on a goal scoring spree. Maybe Kashmira could have done a bit better, but we have to see that again to understand. But what about that for a first time shot? The captain doing captain's things without step. A powerful effort and through the keeper for the first goal of the game. Well, some would expected, many would say. But it uh, didn't come that easy compared to the games they've played so far. In Dumati gets risen with the first of many, maybe. Sabitra Bandari with a burst of pace again. This might be another. And it just gets easy once they get one. Sabitra Bandari just can't stop scoring. It's Gokulam's second in two minutes. Or rather in one minute, maybe. And that's the acceleration we have all been talking about. Uh, just that through ball and there you go. Faster than everyone on the pitch. And she knows where the back of the net is. Just directs it coldwards enough to make it 2-0. And the defense of Mumbai Knights is split open suddenly. And would you believe it? It is the 20th goal of... Uh, this season for Sabitra Vandari but Mumbai Knights might uh, open up a chance for themselves uh, on the other hand well the game has suddenly come to life uh, uh, just 11 minutes Fanjana Chanu and now Kokulam will be more settled uh, and more in their true colours. Sabitra Bhandari once again has made that early run. She's in a crossing position though. Intercepted by Ritu Rani. And the threat keeps hanging on often in defences. She's been doing a job well but uh, just for the two occasions. And that is all you need in a game of football, one or two such occasions. And it's a game set. That's why you cannot keep on doing mistake. Another brilliant pass. That is wonderful, but well collected. And this is the second time Sandhya has found such a pass through. A good anticipation by Kashmira though. Finding the gaps between the defence. And sometimes you can understand by the quality and standard of play uh, to why uh, they are the Indian national team representatives and Sabitra Bhandari herself uh, is a Nepal international and a key player for Nepal a million miles ahead uh, of her players in the league uh, can be safe to say 
It's not easy what she has done so far. 19 goals in six games before this. And now another, a 20th, with uh, plenty of the match to be played here. Averaging over three goals a game. Likes to score, score hat tricks uh, as well. Got a few already. Not well turned by Kashmina there. Well, Mumbai Knights uh, knew that this would be tough, but surely wouldn't have expected two goals uh, in quick succession. And uh, the way things stand, they desperately need a goal from somewhere. And they cannot concede more before that at least. If they want to see any chance, uh, Sabitra Pandari passed the first challenge and the second one as well. And there's another one. Sandhya turns scorer this time. Sabitra Pandari turns provider. 3-0. And they're taking the game away from Mumbai Knights. Now there's fans everywhere when teams from Kerala travel and play. It doesn't matter where they are. A great run by Sabitra Bhandari. It's her turn to return the favour to Sandhya, who slots it home. Too easy for Gokulam right now. Sandhya Ranganathan. Here she is once again on the ball. Sabitra Bhandari. Well, what we didn't talk about uh, was the piece of work she did. Another shot comes in. Well, that has gone in off the post before anyone realized anything. Well, Mumbai Knights uh, do not know what struck them. And it's Savitra Vandari yet again. Well, it's uh, so familiar a sight now for Gokulam fans. Uh, that's a quality finish from Sabitra Vandari. How many more will she score? Already the second of the game, 21st of the season. Well, before they could think of a comeback, uh, Gokulam have struck them hard. 16 minutes into the game, just believe it or not, it's 4-0. Well, it seems to be normal now the way Gokulam has performed uh, in the tournament. But if you take a moment and uh, move out of this uh, current zone where Gokulam have taken you, you can just realize that this is not an easy thing and not a, a common thing. They have made it common, that's a different story. Handball and a free kick for Mumbai Knights. Well, it might be a pretty long, tiring day here for Mumbai Knights uh, if things continue this way. We have seen how threatening Gokulam can be. And there's the handball in Dumati. Free kick then, Riturani. Can she initiate things in their favour? Goes for goal directly. Oh, wasn't a million miles away. Beatrice had it covered. But nonetheless, a good attempt with uh, Rani. Uh, she knew what she was doing. Missed the target. Four goals for Sabitra Vandari in the previous game. And here she is on a hat-trick once more well there were two more games earlier in the day one of them had to be kind of a decider of the teams making it through to the top four in group A and 
that will run out of play and one of them were East Bengal and the big names uh, in the league of course to establish uh, a name in this uh, format in the IWL Roja Devi Sabitra Vintari will get away East Bengal have uh, done themselves and the Mumbai Knights a favour though as uh, they have placed victory against the uh, Hops uh, earlier in the day who cannot uh, earn any more points in the bag 12 is kind of uh, can be said the cut off uh, and 13 is what Mumbai Knights could have reached they can still but very impractical from this position of the game but anything is possible but that's too far from a story written Silky Devi it didn't have uh, too much to do today so far they need to control things uh, Mumbai Knights they're just bypassing the midfield and trying to find the long fall forward understandable uh, why that uh, route uh, because the pressure and quality in the Gokula midfield is too high uh, but at the same time you have to take risks and you have to play your natural game and that is what they do the best another giveaway throw in for Gokula Sports Sudisha will be hoping and we're hoping for an outcome which helps them which is a loss for Mumbai Knights and that seems to be the most likely scenario Sandhya blocked for a corner uh, Misaka now have a slight hope as well uh, but that all depends on the result of that game Sports Vidisha against Misaka which is also going on a different idea here launched forward towards goal not a great collection and collected on the second attempt by Kashmira And that is why it is important to deliver crosses perfectly in the box or in the danger zone and meanwhile there was another chance but look at that for confidence uh, from Ashalata Devi so many Indian internationals in this uh, side Gokulam Kerala one of them on the bench too Dangmi Grace Mansi with the throw in. Cheap giveaways of possession from both teams at the moment. And Kukulam can afford it, even though they're not really appreciated. But uh, Mumbai Knights cannot absolutely afford such mistakes. from the back again Kukulam Kerala trying to build up and control things that is where they turned the game around in the first few minutes they were struggling to keep the ball and once they got hold of it it's been all one way traffic 4-0 within just few minutes uh, and now they have full control over the game and good footwork there now Karen needs to be more on the ball Karishma loved forward might just keep it in play it just ran off pace 
and ran out of legs there. Aria and playing in the right wing for Mumbai Knights in a 4 2 3 1. Kashmina to a Shalata Devi looking for that uh, forward ball again and the best part is that uh, the mistakes are minimal Roja Devi delivers across uh, Sabitra Bhandari chest down and not great connection on that occasion from Indumati and she knows that uh, but a good constructed move from Kokulam yet again looking for that sweet a folly connection wasn't perfect Karen Pace intercepted and now Roja Devi yet again a one two with uh, Indumati kept in loves to take it to her right that step over wouldn't deceive Pranita And as we're hearing, uh, there's a substitution waiting, and there she is. And that's the game for Ria as uh, Chanavi Shetty uh, makes her way. Early substitution in the 25th minute, and probably necessary. Not sure if uh, the correct decision, but a change was surely needed. That's once again Navi not cleared well. And the last thing they want is to concede the fifth. Kokulam yet again, intercepted by Riturani, but taken back by Indumati. Clever find, again a good constructed move, a left footed shot. Somehow collected by Kashmira. Well, it was offside. Uh, the flag was uh, up against uh, Roja Devi. And that's the cooling break here in uh, the hot conditions uh, in most of the parts of the country right now, especially the central areas. And we'll have a look at those four goals uh, which uh, Gokulam Kerala have scored already. Half a job done. We were talking about uh, winning momentum. Uh, they probably don't just want a win, they want to carry forward their scoring momentum as well. And that's how. Indumati opened scoring with that outside of the foot effort and then wonderful ball by Sandhya and the pace of Sabitra Bhantari troubling defences time and again past the keeper to make it 2-0 and then her brilliance Sabitra Bhantari past two players with so much ease and grace as if they did not exist and Sandhya scored her goal and then the double for Sabitra Bhandari. Oh, what about that for a finish? The angle was never favouring her with the left foot. And there was only one direction to that. Uh, it was a cold watch and it got what it deserved. The fourth goal for Kuklam Kerala. For all their hard work, uh, they need some break. Uh, but for all that has been going through this uh, Mumbai nice defence. They needed a change and a bit of discussions. Hopefully, they will hope that they can score one or two here before half time. That is the only way that they can see light at the end of the tunnel. And if not, we all know where destiny takes them. Even after good performances and few fans enjoying themselves for sure. In the stands. And the quality of football has surely improved over the years in the IWL2 and for the Indian national team who have been performing well. And the women's national team, even at the age group and the different tournaments and qualifications they're playing. Plenty of game time for the players now in the current era of the IFF.
Well, Gokulam Kerala, no surprises that they have a, a good number of fans tuning in from Nepal as well to enjoy the game because their top scorer, she's a star here in the league and for Gokulam on a hat-trick, surely will be fancying it with uh, another half and 15 minutes uh, left in this half hour we are underway after the cooling break Beatrice with uh, one of those rare collections it's been a rare occasion when the ball comes uh, to her in today's game Roja Devi from the left channel very very active Well, Gokulam Kerala, uh, they have scored 42 goals uh, before this match in the six games they've played and conceded just four. Yeah, at that four goals they scored today, it's 46 in the tournament so far. How many more awaits? Uh, they're of course the defending champions. Uh, no doubt uh, that they were expected to be fierce and strong. Sabitra Vintari still dropping deep to support a team always good to see well Karen Pace and Veleni Fernandez their combination hasn't quite worked today so far for Mumbai Knights uh, once again from the left channel at this time it is Vanjana Chanu on the overlap uh, delivers a cross Rita Rani clears it Pumika Mane, after a long time, got onto the ball. She'll be looking to get it back from Priyanka. Better control. Mumbai Knights uh, will be looking to keep the ball with themselves. Uh, the lesser you give away possession to Gokulam, the better for your team. Kashmina, all the way back. Mitchell Kistana, Ashalata Devi. first time pass again she knew where her teammate was good looking cross and there's the hat-trick it was a wait of time and the captain helps her to another hat-trick Sabitra Bhandari well she is always at the right place at the right time a great move yet again from Gokulam and a 32nd minute hat-trick for Sabitra Bhandari. How good is she? A goal-scoring machine. That's what she can be called. This is tough quality football from Kokulam. 5-0. Almost every second move they create ends up. And well, is there a goal for Mumbai Knights? Came off the post though. And... Uh, not uh, many appeals but for a moment it seemed it bounced inside the line well we have to see that again missed that bit of action awkward looking shot off the post and did it land in well it seems to be and not really sure from that angle but the goal hasn't been given it seems uh, we'll surely try to have a look at that again well, that would have given them massive amount of boost. Maybe a slow motion replay uh, would uh, help seeing that. Uh, Mumbai Knights uh, suddenly urging players forward. Bhumi Kamani. And now with the right uh, of the post yet again. How unlucky have they got to be? Twice in two minutes. Uh, they have hit the post now. It was Karishma this time. And now Gokulam. If they hit on the counter, that'll be the unluckiest a team can get. Not really. Wow, this game has got some venom to it. Charisma shot wasn't a bad one. The keeper beaten and the post saving them yet again. 
back to back shots from Mumbai Knights. Another throw in. I would have loved to see the replay there again. Uh, one probably bouncing just on the line or maybe inside the net. We still haven't got a clue. Priyanka towards Pumika Mane and that'll be a free kick. Still not late in the game. Even though the score line is too one sided right now. Rituani with the free kick. There's a mental battle going on with the Coquelin defense as well. Launched forward. Indomati, shield control, and all the way back to Beatrice. Frenchana Chanu, Gokulam on with their attacks yet again. Kashmina controlling things. If you look at the goals they've scored, the moves are beautifully constructed total team football playing it out from the back uh, most of them Karen Pace to Rani. one of those rare attacks uh. uh, they have made one change already Mumbai Knights uh, uh, Janavi Shetty had come on but uh, didn't really affect uh, as such so far. Shilki Devi. Sandhya. A giveaway. And now Karishma. And they need to rush forward. Even though plenty of the time is left. But look at this score line. It doesn't matter how much time you have to rush from the moment you get the ball to turn things around uh, or even get close to that score line Kritina Devi good control by Karen Pace and she has found a pass towards Priyanka who didn't quite expect it coming towards her not well controlled and possession back for Kukulam Kerala Roger Devi. Not too much of a press from Mumbai Knights, uh, allowing Gokulam to play out uh, those passes. Just waiting for them to enter and the Mumbai Knights half. Uh, Mitchell Castana, a good turn. And now free intimacy on the right. Uh, Takes a touch to the left. Uh, will she go for goal? She does. But uh, collected by Kashmira this time. Didn't have enough power to trouble the keeper. But a good idea. Again from the captain. Shilki Devi. Moving forward. Sabitra Bandari. Does she have a 4 to 1 here? Saved for now. Another shot. And another goal. Everything she touches turns to gold. It's number six for Gokulam. It's number four for Sabitra Bhandari. It's time to pick her up and drop her on a league which is on a different level. Because she is on a different level right now. The first attempt saved. And she just knows somehow in the back of her mind where the goal post is. And doesn't even need to look or think twice. Fourth goal. Just 38 minutes. And that's fourth goal for Sabitra Vandari, not Kokulam. They have scored six. A 
it's raining goals here doesn't seem to be any way back uh, for Mumbai Knights uh, and they might be eyeing for a seventh already Sabitra Bhandari finds a pass again but the shot is scuffed Sandhya Shranganathan and these are the moves I was talking about it's n even though Sabitra Bhandari has been scoring plenty of goals but it's not really a one person show it's really a team game here from Kukulam and not taking away anything from Savitra Fantari she's been fiery lighting up the league but the teamwork has been excellent and that's where a supply for a striker is so important especially when they have the quality Another ball launched forward towards Sandhya. The first touch is exquisite. Kritina Devi. Kashmina playing the wall pass. Felony. Karishma. Some space for Priyanka to run into. Too many Gokulam players in front of her. And the shot will be blocked. Falling lonely up front, Priyanka. Mumbai Knights are trying to get a little bit of a smiling factor for themselves with the Rani. Well, the surprising thing is that, uh, not quite surprising, but at the same time surprising, uh, because Mumbai Knights uh, had conceded just seven goals uh, in the six games, and today uh, they have conceded six already. And that's a foul against Ritu Rani. Free kick for Mumbai Knights. Uh, approaching uh, the half time marker. Uh, not too much in that, but just because of the use of hands. Uh, it's been given as a foul. Karishma. Karen Pace. Uh, once again, a good touch uh, to beat uh, the defender. Shilki Devi. Who loses out. Uh, a little bit of a tussle going on in the midfield that's a good forward ball might be the first one here and they have pulled one back Mumbai Knights it's Pumika Mane too far from anything but uh, just a bit of hope uh, they can pull a few back 6-1 the score line uh, Beatrice wouldn't be happy but uh, the defensive lapse has been the reason There's the goal scorer, Bhumika Mane. The first pass there. This is what caused the trouble. The defensive lapse. And then the finish. A good finish from Bhumika. To get there first. And open the scoring for Mumbai Knights. Uh, it was uh, that player we talked about. Felony uh, Fernandez with uh, the creative through pass. And they'll hope that it's the first of many. Still a long, long way to go. Pretty long 6-1 and that might get worse because Sandhya is in attack for Kuklam. Mitchell Castana. Kashmina 
Uh, there's a player down in uh, the midfield, Felony Fernandez uh, is down. We'll continue with the game though. Unless it's a head injury and not really compulsory to stop uh, the game or a serious one. Hopefully nothing such. But now she'll get some attention and treatment for that injury. 30 more seconds of regulation time in first half and few more will be added on. Just there. Well, it seems to be on her head where she's clutching. Not sure why the referee didn't spot that probably. Maybe just missed out her. Uh, hopefully all right. And there goes the board for five minutes uh, additional time and there's the moment we were talking about did that land inside the net uh, that shot off the post from Priyanka look at that again that is clearly inside the goal and that should have been given and uh, the complexion of the game could have been slightly different if not much Mumbai Knights uh, unlucky to not have been credited with that. Well, that should have been the second. And that would have been the first rather. And right now the score would have been two in favor of uh, Mumbai Knights. Doesn't change the fact that Gokulam has scored six. And hopefully in future with the introduction of VR and also the goal line technologies uh, we'll soon have uh, these decisions uh, going perfectly in favor of the team who deserves uh, those decisions. Brilliant turn from Karen Pace. Great control and a steal from Shilki Devi. Looking for a pass through. Sabitra Bhandari has pace. Uh, and decides to pass Shilki Devi, laid off for Indumati. Wasn't a bad attempt, uh, but always wising. Sabitru Bhantari and Shilki Devi just creating that little bit of movement to get Indumati uh, that space uh, to shoot. These are things to notice and learn, even for the young footballers. Uh, who are looking to be one of them in the future. Kashmina. Indumati. Shilki Devi has stayed onside. And Ritu Rani almost like a lone warrior in the defense of Mumbai Knights. And of course the reason why she is an interna international as well. Another great pass, Sandhya. Ample space uh, to measure across. Vetu uh, Rani again with the interception. Three minutes of the additional time has been played. Again, good movement and good combination. Sabitra Bhandari just went the wrong way. Was expected to go from behind the defender and attack that. Mitchell Castana. Kvitina Devi. A great little pass back from Santhya, who has stayed inside. And uh, Kvitina Devi is on the overlapping run, a bursting run down the right hand side. Went for power. And uh, miscued that attempt. Another great build up from Gokulam Kerala. Asim Roja Devi. Some amount of fluidity about uh, the front three. Sabit Trupantari sometimes moving to the left, especially right now. Yeah, it's uh, Asim Roja Devi for the last few minutes of first half. Has moved up front.
23 goals in 7 games for Sabitra Bhandari. Another half to be played and then the knockout stages. Thirty more seconds uh, in the first half of Mumbai Knights uh, will be hoping they can somehow steal one more goal here if possible. And they might have one last attack uh, to do that. Karen. Left forward Priyanka with the control. And then controls well to find a good pass towards Pumika. Well dealt by Mitchell Castana. And we are done with the additional five. It is half time, even though it looks like a full time score. It is just halfway through match number 28. Gokulam Kerala FC 6, Mumbai Knights FC 1. Now it can be argued uh, they deserved a second one with that uh, attempt uh, of the post. Uh, you might just have a look at that in the highlights clips as well. But nonetheless, uh, uh, the way things uh, stand, it's Gokulam Kerala FC 6 at Mumbai Knights 1. Only Miracle can help Mumbai Knights out of this situation. And there's the highlights of uh, the first 45 minutes. Uh, I started off well with a good battle. Almost neck to neck, Ritu Rani doing the defensive walk well, but then once Kokulam opened scoring with this goal from Intumati, uh, there was no stopping them with the outside of the boot attempt and a wonderful pass from Sandhya to find the accelerating Sabit and uh, not just on the pitch but on uh, the stats sheets as well. And Sabitra Bhandari then turn provider skips past two challenges to find Sandhya for the third one for Kokulam. And then the fourth goals kept coming. Quality finish by Sabitra Bhandari with the left. It doesn't really care which foot the ball is on. And a hat trick for Sabitra Bhandari. Fifth one for Gokulam. And they always look like uh, scoring and scoring more. And this is the controversial moment where the ball probably dropped inside the net, if I'm not mistaken. But Sabitra Bhandari's goal scoring prowess kept showing. First time shot saved and then on the second attempt made it 6-0 to get her fourth. And through ball from Valeni and a finish from Bhumika to just give them a little bit of hope uh, before they move into the tunnel. It's 6-1 at half time. And we'll be back after the break soon. It's uh, Kukulam Kerala 6, Mumbai Knights 1 at halftime.
welcome back for second half action between Gokulam Kerala FC and Mumbai Knights. A match which could have basically decided if Mumbai Knights could have made their way into the top four. But that's far from a story written as we said at the start of the game. But it's now further away as Gokulam Kerala have taken things out of reach before even half time. A 6 1 score line. And a Gokulam change already. And they want to test out a few things. A change in keeper as well. Now we'll look at the changes as well. But one positive for Mumbai Knights is that they pulled one goal back right before half time. And we are set for 45 more minutes of exciting football. And that is what it is when Gokulam Kerala plays. It's 6-1, but still far from over. Straight away in attack, Gokulam. Sabitha Bhandari. She has fought to her name. And there's the confirmation of the changes. And the first one, Beatrice, went off to be replaced by Somia. another one which was uh, all awaited you can see the bright number 10 of Vivian Kanaru Ajay uh, before that uh, we'll see how this uh, corner turns out to be Roja Devi uh, not well cleared and there's the confirmation Kashmina has been replaced by Vivian she is from Ghana representing her nation out here in the Indian Women's League and what better a team can you have uh, to do that another chance uh, chances after chances after chances for Kukulam and they keep taking it as well and narrowly wide of that far post uh, just takes a bounce uh, near uh, the upright and goes out Sandhya it was and uh, not a million miles away she's got a goal and an assist as well good touch and good build up from Mumbai Knights uh, Chanavi Shetty with the cross uh, straight to the feet uh, of Priyanka but the shot wasn't troubling uh, the substitute keeper Somya uh, the first good attack from Mumbai Knights in the second half somewhat unlucky in the first half too especially in the final quarter two of their shots coming off the post one probably bounced uh, inside the line as well the goal line of course uh, and not credited and uh, another one uh, was off the upright there Achi looking for the pass uh, towards Sandhya a little too far for her a good start to the second half then in match number 28 it is the final match day of group A I will be having the knockout stages after that. That'll be a cold kick for Mumbai Knights. Pressure relieved for the time being. Ranjana Chanu. 
intercepted but back with Gokulam just away from Sabitra Bhandari and now Priyanka gets two defenders to the wrong foot and finds a brilliant pass towards Achanavi they need a perfect cross and it is quite a perfect cross but not the connection Bhumika was looking for she is the one uh, who has got the only goal for Mumbai Knights uh, good move though nonetheless from Mumbai Knights it's Kukulam's turn now two changes to start the second half for them one in goal and one in strike to score a few goals and this is the intent uh, which has been very positive from Kukulam and very impressive uh, they just want to score more and more there's nothing like uh, sitting back, controlling things and just wasting and passing out time. They're hungry for goals. Shalta Devi. Good little turn from Roja Devi. Sabitha Bhandari has seen few options opening up. Uh, was looking for the best one. Uh, the captain it is. Past two challenges. Has uh, stopped in a line. Uh, that's again good passing from Mumbai Knights. Suddenly. Chanvi Shetty. Uh, felony goes down. Uh, no foul says the ref uh, Sabitha Bhandari meanwhile has some open space the deflection isn't kind but kind enough for Gokulam to give them a corner the two foreign recruits uh, looking to combine up front for Gokulam Ritu Rani has a, a tough game so far Another cross lofted in. A J controls. Back with Gokulam. Uh, look how relaxed and comfortable they are. Especially with this goal line. Why not? Uh, they've scored a total of 48 goals in 7 games. Including today's one. And have conceded 5. Uh, 4 before this and 1 today. Sabitha Bhandari, her streak of goal scoring is so impressive. She has scored four in the previous one and she has scored four today as well. And there's a lot of the game to be played still. Who knows if she can find a fifth. Phrases out for head coach uh, and Tony Sampson Andrews as well. He has really done some work uh, with the defending champions. Uh, it's easy to say. Uh, they are the defending champions and uh, uh, they are the best teams in the league but that's not how it really works every season there's new faces and uh, you have to build up from scratch uh, most of the times not always though and you have to do all the hard work from zero every year you start the league with zero points in your back of course uh, there's no advantage of points for being the defending champions it's not uh, as easy as uh, said. They have to do the hard work and they have done so. Chanavi. Positive intent from Mumbai Knights. Uh, Priyanka. Controlled well. Uh, looking for the skillful attempt to pass it. Still in play. Here's Priyanka. Ambitious to find Pomika. Didn't really put the curl and swirl on that, uh, which was required. Well, she plays it back. 
Mitchell Castana. The centre backs have sle seen plenty of the ball for Coquelin. Well, talking about top scorers of the league. Indumati is in them as well, and there's the top scorer of the tournament, and she gets another one with no mistake and no question marks raised when she has the ball at that position in the box. It's 7 1 for Gokulam. Well, Sabitra Bhandari's fifth goal of this particular game, just and 24th goal of the IWL for her. Lightning pace, precise finishing. And she's on a different league of her own. Sabitra Pandari with another finish. And that might kill the hopes of Mumbai Knights once again. The little bit of speed Park uh, they got Mumbai Knights uh, that will be suppressed. Well, another exciting clash between Sports Orisha and Misaka is going on too because uh, this outcome very well helps both the teams playing there, and a win can take either of them through Pumika. Mumbai Knights will still try though. Fifty five minutes into the game. Ritarani against Sabitra Bhandari. A one on one. Sabitra Bhandari probably looking for the pass uh, and finds a safe option in Sandhya, who skips first. And then pass the second challenge. And what a beautiful finish that uh, makes it look so easy. Second one for Sandhya Ranganathan. And what a sweet little finish there with the left foot. Takes on two defenders. The goalkeeper flat footed. That's a delicate finish. Bottom corner, curling attempt. A picture perfect finish and a picture perfect score line. The number seven with the number eight for Gokulam Kerala. Eight one. Would you believe it? If consistency is to be defined, you can see this Gokulam Kerala performing and scoring goals and so nine zero in the previous game. Eight one already here. And they want more. this point of the league it can be without a doubt said that they're one of the most fierce teams in the competition could have been said at any point uh, but everyone had a chance to prove themselves especially when they faced Gokulam that one draw might just be the highlight to find out mistakes She hasn't seen much of the ball in the second half. Janavi uh, has uh, been pretty lively so far in the second half, uh, but uh, didn't help the cause. And once again, a long ball forward. Sabitra Bhandari passed the keeper. Is there another one? 
just couldn't uh, find her balance uh, to increase her tally just there Rita Rani probably did enough to block that attempt and the keeper was beaten she is surely not having a good time there Kashmira how difficult it is at times to pick yourself up from these kind of performances when you're at the receiving end of uh, the demolition going on. But life goes on and uh, you have to pick yourself up and uh, look forward. Sabitha Bhandari again with that acceleration. And Ritu Rani will do enough. Uh, and uh, rightly adjudged a goal kick from Mumbai Knights. Here's the replay of the goal again, or rather the previous move it was, a brilliant pass and there was a long sprinting legs, which caused all trouble for oppositions. Pumika finds Karishma, Mumbai Knights uh, looking for maybe another one, a long range attempt, uh, too long to trouble. Somya on the goal. There's the attempt uh, just flying high. Oh, Felony very well knows her abilities uh, to perform and score. And we were just talking about the top scorers when Sabitha Vandari scored her previous goal. But among that top five list, uh, there's Indumati Kathirisen as well, who has got a goal in today's game too. She has uh, six to her name in total. Roja Devi. Apart from the goal scoring, the passing and movement have been very notable from Kokulam Kerala. There we see and the way they pass uh, around uh, the park. Uh, interesting balls towards Indumati. Takes it to the right inside the box now. Wouldn't really want to give away a penalty and there might be another one. And how many times has she practiced that finishing in uh, training sessions? It's uh, Roja Devi who gets a goal finally. And consecutive nine goals for Gokulam Kerala. Two times in a row now. And that's a perfect finish. Good work again. Sandhya finds another assist yet again. A good move from Gokulam and a perfect finish. I didn't think too much. I didn't complicate things. Placed it with precision. SM Roja Devi, uh, the goal scorer of the ninth goal. And we have passed the hour marker 63 minutes. It's Gokulam Kerala FC 9 and Mumbai Knights 1. Surely no way back now. Nothing working at the moment for Mumbai Knights. Uh, they've performed better in attack in the second half. Uh, talking about uh, the display of football. But the score line and result and the outcome has all stayed similar to what we saw in the first. Sabitha Vandari. Look how deep she is, almost like a centre back, uh, and then she rises and runs. That's a foul, though. Just takes a second or two 
in a blink of her eye, she just reaches out ahead of everyone in front of Cole. Foul on a felony. She has been receiving most of those harsh tackles in the midfield. And this time it'll be Afreen to take the set piece, awaiting a long delivery again. Santia couldn't clear. Pomika goes for goal of the post. Is that once again inside the line? Well, this is the second time in the game. Well, even though Kokulam has totally outperformed Mumbai Knights, but we have got to admit that Mumbai Knights have been unlucky for the third time now. Twice probably landed in. We have to see that again off the post. Uh, well, just missed the line. But that seems to be in if you see the net and the bar post. Indomati finds Sabitra Bhandari. Roja Devi is waiting. The cutback uh, isn't perfect. Lead off by Priyanka. I didn't expect that, uh, Chanavi, and hence the run never came. Lucky escape for Kuklam again. In a game where they have scored nine, this is probably one of the very rare occasions where they could have conceded a few more, if not another attack for Mumbai Knights. Karishma Tivomika. This time opts for a cross. Uh, Priyanka, the first time attempt. And uh, off the face of goal. She has come to life in the second half, Priyanka. But we would have expected a finish on that occasion. Well, they have problems to deal with, Kokulam Kerala. When they move to the knockout stages. And there's the attempt. We'll see from another angle. Had that gone into. Well, just outside this time. Uh, but uh, the post coming in the way again. And this time it was outside the goal line. And hence, a correct decision. Uh, ran out of legs, uh, Chanavi Shetty trying to work hard. Uh, the Indian internationals uh, combining with Sabitha Bhandari and Ajay have been too good for Gokulam. No more changes yet for Gokulam apart from the two we saw at the start of this half. They do not need it though, but they can surely try out uh, and s test their bench before the knockout stages. But they have to deal with the problems in defense. Uh, they're lucky enough to not concede two or three more here. Uh, that doesn't hamper the result though, but who knows? It's not always the same story in Dumati finds Sandhya. She always finds herself in space uh, on that right hand side somehow. She's on a hat-trick as well. Another corner for Gokulam. This is turning out to be tiring. Very long afternoon for Mumbai Knights. Uh. 
chest down by G. She has got the ball back. And now Sandhya. There is only one player. The target in the box. Playing it around so comfortably, almost as if a practice session now at this point of the game for Gokulam. Roja Devi, she has switched positions, uh, more central right now. Then on the wings, uh, almost as if a change of formation from Gokulam, which we haven't uh, noticed. Of course, uh, not really the best camera angle to understand that different stadiums have different camera angles uh, and maybe on another day we could have talked about it still seems to be a 4141 to me it's just that uh, a slightly more compact uh, on the left hand side and then going out wide Shalta Devi in Dumati up against Afreen throw in will be good enough for them and we'll be heading towards the cooling break a breather for an entertaining performance end to end stuff uh, and endless attacks from Gokulam Kerala 10 goals in this match so far 20 more minutes to be played after this and there's all the goals uh, we have watched so far the first one from Indumati and then Sabitra Bhandari with her first she has five goals to her name in today's game and then Sabitra Bhandari turning provider Sandhya with her first three for Gokulam and there's the fourth and goals kept coming after every little while and that was the controversial moment uh, probably just landed inside goal landed very well inside goal should have been awarded the goal unfortunate on that occasion Mumbai Knights uh, but they kept trying Sabitra Bhandari scored the sixth for Gokulam and then this one the first goal and then the only goal for Mumbai Knights in the first half from Bhumika but there was no stopping in the second half as well Sabitra Bhandari with yet another and then Sandhya with the curling effort and the ninth one coming from Roja Devi well even if you're watching the highlight clips of the game you'll surely be tired watching the goals uh, imagine imagine uh, the situation in the minds of the players of Mumbai Knights they're standing there conceding the 10 goals never easy but they're still showing up a fighter they're still fighting till the last minute if not for a win but at least for some respect and for the efforts that's what we come to see Well, a slightly longer cooling break, it seems. Uh, they're all back on the pitch. And a few more minutes before we conclude. The first round off for the Indian Women's League. The knockouts will start soon. And one more match day, though, for the other group.
which is group B Setu on top and there's Orisha FC and Kickstart FC who have been impressive Eastern Sporting Union and they are the top four at the moment and most likely they'll be the top four qualifying from that group as far as I'm aware of Well, the happiest with this result uh, will be the other two teams there. But uh, another change uh, is lining up, as you can see, at the far side of your screens. Shilki Tevi uh, makes way for Baby Falte. Ranjana Chanu and there's the confirmation Shilki Devi makes way for Devi Walte Kopalam controlling things sir. it's daily bread and butter for them now to win matches with big margins and their fans will be happy watching it their performance in Indian football lately has been brilliant uh, over the last few years uh, they've won the Hero I League twice uh, the previous two editions and uh, uh, the Indian Women's League as well two times champions and right now they have a chance uh, to get one more title that's a long route the quarter finals uh, and then they have to think about the semis and finals but first they have another barrier to overcome on 16th it's a bit that's one good thing about her she drops deep to support her team control things and just get a feel of the game it's very important uh, to stay uh, within uh, the game and sometimes it's a problem for strikers when you stay detached from uh, the play for a long while and suddenly a pass comes towards you it's a bit hazy on occasions with what comes out of that chance Mumbai Knights looking for their rear attacks uh, but there's changes waiting for Mumbai Knights as well Suvi Mancherikar comes in for Pranita trying hard to find spaces between uh, the Kokulam defense and there has been another change as well Fumika Mane has uh, gone off uh, to be replaced by Shushmita Chadav and that was offside uh, in that move uh, to Rani will be thinking and doing her homework later on about what all went wrong but it's not always about individuals it's about the unit not performing Karen with the control not really on her usual game today but still managing a few good passes now from the left, uh, Priyanka couldn't control Krishma's attempt. 
somewhat frustrating at right now. Roja Devi finds a bit of an area heavy touch. Veronese first time passer doesn't find anyone. That's a bit of an She's still looking for more five goals to her name. a bit different hurry. looking for the cheeky back heel and the flag is up for offside in that clumsy mess Baby finds a J. Final ten minutes of the game then. Sandhya and now a J. Toe poked away by a freen. Tiring indeed. Once again back with Gokulam. Collected by Kashmira. And not much to play for here. For Mumbai Knights. But it is still nil-nil on the other game between Sports Arisha and Misaka. Just an update for you. Ten minutes remaining in that game as well. Felony into Matthias uh, control that uh, seemed to be a foul called back finally. Delicate turn from Baby Rarte. Sandhya. Another run from that far side. Sabitha Bandari. Now from the left come Gokulam. Can they find a tenth? Ranjana Chanu towards Baby. She has been involved since she made way onto the pitch. Asking too much of Sabitha Bandari this time. A narrow passage. it and gets it back as well and that'll be a free kick and uh, a card comes out uh, it's Vivian Ajay whose uh, notable contribution in today's game is a yellow card not really the way she would have wanted to introduce herself in today's game Vivian Ajay uh, with the yellow card launched forward again Curran was interested
A good spot there once again and a good run. Is there another goal? Pass the keeper and goes down and that might be a red card. Well, nothing says the ref. Now that is surprising. Well, maybe we missed something which the referee had spotted. But if that is not a foul, that has to be a card for diving. Or else, that is a clear foul. There's only two ways to that. It has gone neither way. Surprising. And now Priyanka with her control. She'll go for the shot from distance. Uh, inches away from hitting the target. Uh, they've come close to scoring for the nth time in today's game now. And two substitutes are waiting for Gokulam. And there's the attempt. Not a bad one from Priyanka. Indumati with the long ball forward. Ajay finally with some space in front of her. Unselfishly played towards Sapitra Pantari. Another powerful shot and that will sail off target. It was baby Walter it seems. And now the changes are with four minutes remaining. A little bit of game time. Sandhya will make way for Arti. Two goals for Sandhya and assists as well. And it's Chris Maria. And there's the previous attempt uh, laid off by Sabitra Bhandari and the shot from Pepe Walte. It was a powerful one, just missing the target. Kashmir are receiving a bit of treatment. Some issue with their wrists there. And we are moving towards uh, the end of 90. The Gokulam defence have done their job as well, even though uh, they could have probably conceded a few today. I got a bit lucky. Sabitra Vandari. Her team wait in the way of that shot. Two minutes of regulation time remaining. Another forward ball. Ajay has stayed on side. She's driving inside the box, finds a pass, and that's number 10. And it's Sabitra Pandari yet again. How many more will she score? Six goals in a single game of the Indian Women's League. And an assist for Ajay. Who does ever so well to find the run of Sabitra Bhandari. 
right place right time yet again and it's one name all over uh, the headlines Savitra Bhandari with 10 for Gokulam too easy for her on the fall again finds a pass this time Ajay too strong and physical how about that for a score line now they've scored 14 in a game they might fancy more in the additional time coming up wonder how much it will be well it is eight minutes on the board uh, there it comes out a long eight minutes for Mumbai Knights and Gokulam might, might fancy a few more Ritu Rani and now Freen Mumbai Knights uh, looking for a late consolation Well, once again troublesome situation at the back for Mumbai Knights uh, they look so so tired waiting for the final whistle Afreen well it was Ashalata Devi pardon me the opposite number four Afreen for Mumbai Knights uh, had been solid throughout the season apart from this game where the entire defense has collapsed for Mumbai Knights that's a good run by Roja Devi Indumati very ambitious with that pass uh, Roja Devi will still get on to that one is there more goals in this well there is unless that's an offside well it's 11-1 it is indeed a goal a change in goalkeeper then Priyanka goes off to be replaced by Ria Souza and Kashmira replaced by Vapita and there is the goal look at that suddenly away from the two defenders to head it home seven goals for Sabitra Bhandari 11-1 would you believe it when it, you're hearing this story and not really watching it and that's how it has been and too easy that shot to collect uh, for Somya
Savita Vandari. She has dropped deep now. Still has the energy to go on. And the offside flag will be up. Halfway through the additional time. The crowd is enjoying themselves. Pretty sure about that. 12 goals in this game. 11 coming for one team. And that is a different story. Karen face and now felony back to Karen and not on the same wavelength there with uh, Ria Souza. Kuklam still trying to find uh, more options and they just play their natural game be it the first minute be it the 95th minute they just do their thing and results keep coming once again the flag is up and there's the replay Mumbai Knights still trying for the consolation. Have to applaud their fight, uh, even though the outcome hasn't been anything favorable for them. Apart for a few times, they've hit the crossbar and the upright. And once it had crossed the line in the first half, uh, unlucky on that occasion. Ajay. Roja Devi. Can we see a 12th? Clear, clear, clear. The neutrals would enjoy it. Uh, Totalum fans would enjoy it. Surely not Mumbai Knights and their fans. Uh, but they've shown a good account of themselves in this edition of the Indian Women's League. It cannot really be judged by one match. Uh, that too against uh, a fierce opposition like Totalum Kerala. Apart from that, uh, uh, they've not turned too bad. Ashalata Devi and looking for Arati last few seconds Sharta Devi on the ball. She's been so often in possession. Now from the left. We're done with the additional eight then. And any moment soon. Uh, we might be hearing the full-time whistle. Last attack allowed. Ashalta Devi just trying to control it. Throw in. I'm not sure if there's any more time remaining in this. Uh, few more seconds probably allowed for the substitution, sir. That took place. And it is full time. Another convincing, massive victory in the final match day of Group A for Gokulam Kerala FC. 11 1 to edge past Mumbai Knights. A disappointing end to what they have come to create hope and expectations. For Mumbai Knights uh, all comes to an end with a disappointing scoreline but that's how strong 
where this Gokulam team has been. Well, there has been a total of 12 goals in the game. And we'll look at the highlights of the game. Most of it would, of course, be covered by the goals. Uh, because that is all with what has been packed inside this game. And here's the first one from Indomati and then Sabito Vandari. And once she starts, there's no stopping. That was the third goal of the game from Sandhya. Her second her first rather, she's got two to a name. And a hat trick for Savitra Bhandari coming soon. After that, uh, two back to back goals. Uh. And this was the unlucky moment uh, when uh, the goal wasn't awarded to Mumbai Knights. Uh. Savitra Bhandari scored a fourth and 6 1 at half time. What was the score with this goal? And the first and only goal. For Mumbai Knights. And then again it started with a similar picture being painted by Sabitra Bandari. Goals after goals. Uh, Sandhya scoring another one, her second one of the game, and then turning provider yet again for Roja Devi. There were a few more chances for Mumbai Knights off the post on few occasions. There was another one and a J-turn provider for the 10th goal. Sabitra Bhandari's 6th and that's the final goal of the game. The 11th goal for Gokulam Kerala and the 7th for Sabitra Bhandari. And we'll have uh, uh, the player of the match, uh, Sabitra Bhandari, uh, given by Imran Shaker, the head of referees in Gujarat. And what a performance from Sabitra Vandari, 7 star. And no guesses, no surprises. With 7 goals to a name, the hero of the match, Sabitra Vandari. And that's the score at full time. Kokulam Kerala convincingly threw its 11-1 in favour of Kokulam. Thank you for tuning in. Hope to see you again soon.